God in the name of Jesus Christ will meet each and every one of you at the point of your needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Before we continue, I would like to start with a little prayer. Father Lord, I thank you for today. I thank you for my life and for the life of each and every one of us. Father Lord, I commit this evening unto your care. Holy Spirit divine, come and take control in everything we are going to do here today in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father, I commit all the listeners, all the group members, all the followers unto your care. Father, Lord Jehovah, meet each and every one of them at the point of their needs in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Holy Spirit divine, come and take control in the name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. I need my own miracle. Come to me now. Say to me now. Let's wait a little to see if other people will join before we continue. Favor me has come. I need my own miracle. 
miracle. I need my own miracle. Power has come. I need my own miracle. I need my own miracle. I know you will do, you will do it again and again. I know you will do, you will do it again and again. I know you will do, you will do it again and again. Oh Lord, you will do it again and again. I know you will do, you will do it again and again. I know you will do, you will do it again and again, oh Lord. You will do it again and again. I know you will do, you will do it again and again. of our program that says I must move forward in the name of Jesus Christ and you will move forward in the name of Jesus Christ the book of Job chapter 17 it says the righteous keep moving forward and those with clean hands become stronger and stronger every day so we are becoming stronger and we get stronger every day the Bible has encouraged us to move forward I will keep I will keep moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. And the book of Luke, chapter 1, verse 37, also says, For with God nothing will be impossible. Since there's nothing impossible with God, He will break every limitation in our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. Now, before we start our prayer. It will be good for us to pray and ask God for forgiveness of sins. Anywhere at all that we have sinned against God, we should ask God for forgiveness. Prayer, everyone. Father Lord, I thank you, Lord. I thank you for everything you have done. Father, I beg for forgiveness of sins in every area of my life that I have sinned against you. Father Lord, I also beg on behalf of the members and the group and the followers. Father, Lord Jehovah, forgive each and every one of us in any way at all we have sinned against you. Anything that will make this our prayers not to stand, or that will stand against our prayers, in the name of Jesus Christ, we stand against it. Father, Lord Jehovah, if it's our sins, we'll make this prayer not to hold. We beg for forgiveness of sins in the name of Jesus Christ. We also stand against every principalities and powers that will work against this prayer today in the name of Jesus Christ. We are praying because we want to get a result. We are praying because we want to move forward. And we are moving forward in the name of Jesus Christ. We are getting stronger every day in the name of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against us in any form shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, thank you in Jesus' name. Amen. Number one prayer point, it says, Any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, there are some families, not only families, most people, they have this limitation. They cannot grow to a certain level. They're just like, when they get to that level, they will stop. When they get to that, the other person will come to that level and stop. Because there is a cause of limitation, and we are praying to break this cause. But before we go further, there are so many things that can even lead to that. Sin can bring sins can bring limitation into one's life. Laziness also can bring limitation into one's life. Ignorance can bring limitation into one's life. Haters also can cause so can limit someone. So we are going to pray to break this yoke today in the name of Jesus Christ. The prayer point says, any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. 
any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted in the name of Jesus Christ. Any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any cause of limitation in my life be uprooted by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the number two prayer point it says, anyone sitting on my promotion be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. You know, sometimes, just like uh, I have a little story. When I came to this land where I'm living now, Sweden, newly, you know, there's this thing they normally do. They call it, uh, it's a language school anyway, let me forget the names. So, any program you want to do, you have to go through this uh, language school. And I had a particular teacher in my class. Each day I will come and see that my mates are no longer there. They have gone to another class. I was still in that same class for a long time. Reasons I didn't know. This woman was just like, you know, limiting me, stopping me. She wasn't allowing me and I fear. I was uh, out of fear. I couldn't even ask her why. Not until one day, they changed the teacher. A new person now came in. The new teacher came in and found interest in me. She was like, every time she wants to chat with me. So, one day she asked me, why are you still in this class? I said, I don't know. I'm here because they said it's where I'm supposed to be. She said, no, I don't think you're supposed to be in this class. She now moved me to the right class where I'm supposed to belong. So, you know, someone can just decide to sit on your promotion. We have this kind of problems even in a working place. Somebody will just sit there, you try everything, even sometimes you feel stupid, you feel as if maybe you are not good enough. You wouldn't really know that it's not because you're not good enough, it's because uh, haters or somebody is just there, you know, sitting on your promotion. That is why we have to pray this kind of prayer. So the prayer point says, anyone sitting on my promotion be removed by fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Anyone sitting on my promotion be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any man, any woman sitting on my promotion be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anyone sitting on my promotion be removed by fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the third prayer point says, any power that wants me to see my mates and hide for shame, catch fire in the name of Jesus Christ. Yesterday, I said something similar. That, uh, you know, some people will see their mates and be hiding. Not because they are going to do them anything. Because of shame. Because they are not meeting up. They are not doing what their mates are doing. So, for that reason, when they see their mates, they cannot stand. That is also a cause. We should pray against that kind of a thing. We should grow and follow our mates and do what our mates are doing in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wants me to see my mates and hide for shame, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wants me to see my mates and hide for shame, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wants me to see my mates and hide for shame, catch fire in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the fourth prayer point says, Anything standing as Goliath on my way, fall and rise no more in the name of Jesus Christ. Anything standing as Goliath on my way, fall and rise no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything standing as Goliath on my way, fall and rise no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Anything standing as Goliath on my way, Fall and rise no more in the mighty name of Jesus Christ, I pray. Amen. Now the point five says, Any power assigned to divert my blessings to another person, collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned to divert my blessings to another person, collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Any power assigned to divert my blessings to another person collapse in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned to divide my blessings to another person collapse in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number six prayer point says, Every decision made to send me backwards scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every decision made to send me backwards scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every decision made to send me backwards scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Every decision made to send me backwards scatter in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. And the prayer point number seven says, Any power that wants me to be disgraced, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wants me to be disgraced, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power that wants me to be disgraced, receive the fire of God in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number eight prayer point says, I break every cause of rejection and neglect in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every cause of rejection and neglect in my life in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every cause of rejection and neglect in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord God, I break every cause of rejection and neglect in my life in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Number nine prayer point says, I break every cause assigned to waste my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every cause assigned to waste my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. I break every cause assigned to waste my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. The number 10 prayer point says, Any power assigned to hide me from my destiny help us. Receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned, any power assigned to hide me from my destiny helpers, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Any power assigned to hide me from my destiny helpers, receive the fire of God in the name of Jesus Christ. Number 11 says, Oh God, arise and mock the mockers of my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh Lord, arise and mock the mockers of my destiny in the name of Jesus Christ. Oh God, arise and mock the mockers of my destiny in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Then the next prayer point says, Favor that has never happened in my family line, locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. Favor that has never happened in my family line, locate me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor that has never happened in my family line, locate me in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Favor that has never happened in my family line, locate me in the name of Jesus Christ. And the number 13 prayer point says, all my sleeping blessings resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All my sleeping blessings resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. All my sleeping blessings resurrect in the name of Jesus Christ. All my sleeping blessings resurrect in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. The number 14 prayer says, Thus says the Lord, you have to put your own name here. I am putting my own name. So says the Lord, I, Bridget Tuchendo, shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. So says the Lord, I shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I shall move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. So says the Lord, I shall move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I shall move forward in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, I thank you for this hour. Father Lord, I commit this evening unto your king. I commit the prayers unto your king. I commit all the listeners unto your king. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ. 
Anything that will make these prayers not to work or not to come to you. Father Lord, we come against it in the name of Jesus Christ. I commit each and every one of us unto your care, Father Lord Jehovah. Father Lord, I beg you to meet each and every one of us at the point of our needs in the name of Jesus Christ. Every evil plan of the enemies are scattered in the name of Jesus Christ. I come against every plan of the enemies against our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Father Lord, whatever principalities and powers that is holding us in bondage, that is making us not to move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. I stand against it in the name of Jesus Christ. I pull down every stronghold of the devil against our lives in the name of Jesus Christ. Even the group will move forward in the name of Jesus Christ. All the members and followers, Father Lord Jehovah, meet each and every one of them at the point of their needs in a way that they will remember that there was a time we did a prayer. Father, in the name of Jesus Christ, I thank you for everything, Lord Jehovah. I commit this prayer unto your care. I commit everything this evening unto your care. Even as we are going to sleep, Father Lord Jehovah, give us a good night's sleep in the name of Jesus Christ. I cover this prayer with the blood of Jesus Christ. I cover each and every member in this group, the followers, the listeners with the blood of Jesus Christ. No weapon formed against us in any form shall prosper in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Thank you, Father. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Holy Spirit. In Jesus' mighty name, I have prayed. Amen. Take good care of yourself. See you next time. Good night. Bye.